from seeyousoon.ca and welcome to St. Andrews, New Brunswick. This seaside town has a lot of history and is a popular destination, particularly in the summer months. To help you plan your visit here, I'm partnering up with Destination New Brunswick to show you what to do, what to see, where to eat, and even where to stay. So before I get started, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you hit that notification bell. Located in the southwestern corner of New Brunswick, St. Andrews is one of the province's premier seaside destinations. It was established by the United Empire Loyalists in 1783, and by the 1800s it was one of the region's largest seaports. The early 1900s saw a shift towards tourism, drawing summer vacationers from Montreal and Boston. And today, St. Andrews has solidified itself as one of the best seaside destinations in Canada. Often referred to as St. Andrews by the Sea, the town was designated a National Historic District in 1998. It's a wonderful blend of old and new. Its history is proudly on display and you'll find all the amenities summer vacationers look for in a destination. To kick off your visit to St. Andrews, make a visit to Kingsbury Garden. Opened in the spring of 1998, Kingsbury Garden was started by John and Lucinda Flemmer on the family's former estate. They wanted to create a space that not only maintained and preserved the property, but also served as a community space that could be enjoyed by locals and visitors. Since then, Kingsbury Garden has won multiple awards and has been named one of the top 10 gardens in Canada. It covers 27 acres and features over 50,000 perennials, including rhododendrons, roses, and daylilies. There are various themed gardens found throughout the property, plus a labyrinth, a cedar maze, ponds, a Dutch windmill made one third of the normal size, and some animals like alpacas and pygmy goats. In addition to the plants, there's also a sculpture garden. Every year, Kingsbury Garden runs the Canadian Sculpture Competition, and the winners and finalists have their pieces put on display. You can easily spend half a day exploring the grounds, and the gardens will change slightly depending on what time of year you visit. To learn more about the marine life found in the region, head to the Huntsman Marine Science Centre and the Fundy Discovery Aquarium. Since 1969, the Huntsman, a private, not-for-profit social enterprise, has been conducting aquatic research. Focusing on outreach, education, research and hospitality, their mission is to inspire stewardship and encourage sustainability for the marine environment and economy. At the Fundy Discovery Aquarium, visitors can learn about the marine animals found in the Bay of Fundy through a variety of experiences. In the Flemmer Gallery, you'll find large subtitle pools showcasing the different marine life found at different depths in the ocean. You can also get your hands wet and come face to face with some of the sea creatures. Interpreters are on hand to offer guidance and answer any questions you may have. On the lower floor, you'll find galleries dedicated to some of the different fish found in the Bay of Fundy. There are also interactive areas for the kids and informational displays that change periodically. You can also stroll around the property and walk down to the beach to gain a greater appreciation for the area. If you'd like to extend your visit beyond the Fundy Discovery Aquarium, join one of the Huntsman Marine Experiences. They range from a couple of hours to multi-day programming, including a tidal trek, a walk between the tides, and a citizen scientist marine cruise. Exploring downtown St. Andrews is a must, especially a stroll along historic Water Street. For over 200 years, Water Street has been the heart and soul of commercial and community life in St. Andrews. Spanning roughly five blocks, great care and attention to detail have gone into preserving and maintaining the historic streetscape. About a third of the buildings you see today are over a hundred years old, with many more closing in on that age. Restaurants, boutique shops, galleries, and the town's main commercial businesses can all be found here. Some spots worth checking out include McGuire Chocolate Company. Started in 2019, this bean-to-bar chocolate shop roasts and grinds their own cocoa beans, producing a variety of gourmet chocolate bars. They also serve homemade ice cream made with real cream, served in hand-pressed waffle cones. Across the street in the whale store, you'll find all kinds of giftware, personal care items, and stationery. And in Scrooge and Marley's, it's Christmas year-round. 
Their second floor is filled with all kinds of Christmas ornaments and decor. Afterwards, make your way over to the King Street Pier. Here you'll find additional cute shops and companies running whale watching tours. The pier is also a great place to watch the boats coming and going and to see that impressive tidal change the Bay of Fundy is most famous for. If you're looking for a little bit of beach time, head to Katie's Cove Beach. This warm saltwater public beach is situated within an enclosed cove overlooking the Passamaquoddy Bay. Pack a picnic and enjoy the sandy beaches and calm waters. Now for something quite unique, head to Minister's Island. This 500 acre island is a provincial and national historic site. It's located just off the coast of St. Andrews and can only be accessed during low tide. As the waters recede, a sandbar emerges allowing cars to drive right along the ocean floor. Once across, there's quite a bit to see and do. Its most notable inhabitant was Sir William Van Horn. He was the president of the Canadian Pacific Railway and in 1890, he purchased part of the island and two years later started building his summer home. It still stands today and visitors can explore inside. It features 50 rooms, including 17 bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, and 11 fireplaces. Some of the furniture is original, but the majority of what you see are period accurate furnishings that have been sourced. In addition to Van Horn's summer estate is a circular bathhouse down by the water. It was built out of red sandstone blasted from the beach below. An outdoor saltwater pool was carved into the beach and filled from the waters during high tide. There was also a large agricultural component to Van Horn's estate. He had farmland, raised livestock, and also had steam heated greenhouses. In addition to the many buildings that still remain from Van Horn's estate, visitors can also enjoy 24 kilometers of hiking trails. They span the entire island and will lead you to some cool lookouts and secluded beaches. A visit to Minister's Island will depend on the tides, so double check the tide charts at ministersisland.net before you plan your trip. When it comes to accommodations in St. Andrews, you have to book a stay at the iconic Algonquin Resort. Established in 1889, the Algonquin Resort was built in stages and has been a fixture of the town ever since. They've even hosted some notable guests, including Prince Charles and Princess Diana during their Canadian tour in 1983. Boasting a rich history with all the modern comforts, the Tudor style resort has 233 guest rooms and suites. Rooms are spacious and comfortable with pillow top mattresses and radiant heated bathrooms. There are many amenities to enjoy at the resort, including a fitness center, an outdoor and indoor pool with a three-story water slide, a spa, outdoor fire pits, and more. The Algonquin Resort also has three on-site restaurants, including the Passamaquoddy Veranda for breakfast and Braxton's Restaurant and Bar for lunch and dinner. For those who like a good ghost story, join the nightly ghost tour, where you'll hear about some interesting stories that many have reported experiencing at the resort. Golf enthusiasts will want to take advantage of the Algonquin Resort's impressive golf course. First built in 1894, it was reworked in the 1920s and then again in 2018 by notable designer Rod Whitman. The 18-hole par 72 course is spectacular. It's situated right on the Bay of Fundy's Passamaquoddy Bay with views of the coast and St. Andrews. Once you've finished your round, or even after your first nine, take a break at the Smokehouse Barbecue and Bar. Featuring indoor and patio seating, the Smokehouse Barbecue and Bar serves upscale casual fare. Sit back and relax with a delicious meal and beautiful views. Speaking of food, when it comes to eating out in St. Andrews, there are lots of great options to choose from. To get you started, here are some options. For that morning caffeine fix, head to Honeybean's Coffee Tea and Treats, where they serve up a variety of freshly brewed coffee and specialty drinks. For a proper sit-down breakfast, head to either Lumberjack's Cafe on Water Street for their classic breakfast options, or to Seabreeze Restaurant on King Street for their all-day breakfast menu. For lunch, pop into the newly opened Char and Chowder. This laid-back eatery has a menu boasting maritime classics. Order up at the window and enjoy your food delivered right to your table. And when it comes to dinner, 
make sure you snag a table at the Chandler Room. Located inside the Treadwell Inn, this restaurant serves up contemporary sharing plates with a maritime twist. The menu changes seasonally, and ingredients are reflective of what's available locally week to week. Make sure to call ahead though to book a reservation, as seats go fast at this local favourite spot. The last activity to add to your St. Andrew's visit is a walk along the Van Horn Trail. Starting at Langmaid Park, the 3.5 km trail follows the old railway tracks along the eastern side of the peninsula. The trail is wide, paved and flat throughout, perfect for all ages and abilities. The Tree Line Trail provides a relaxing backdrop and you may even run into a few of the locals along the way. The trail splits just before Katie's Cove Beach, which will bring you right out to the causeway across from the beach. You'll then have to double back before continuing on the trail, past Katie's Cove Beach, St. Andrew's Cemetery, and concluding at the sandbar to Minister's Island. The Van Horn Trail is well maintained and signed, plus it'll help balance out all that eating you'll be doing. All right, and that's your overview of St. Andrews. As you can see, there's a lot to do here. Something for everyone. And I didn't even touch upon the water activities. St. Andrews is a great spot to go whale watching, kayaking, or simply for a boat cruise. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.